afternoon. Uh, my name is Marta Czesinkiewicz uh, from uh, Periodontal Department of Glasgow University uh, and I have a pleasure to host today for cardiovascular research on life Professor Dominic uh, Miller uh, from uh, Experimental and Clinical Research Center in Berlin. Uh, Dominic uh, has uh, significantly contributed to uh, understanding uh, of leaks between salt, immune uh, immunity and cardiovascular diseases and also uh, to understanding uh, how microbiome fits to that picture. Welcome Dominique and thank you very much for joining us. Hello. For every researcher it is crucial to ask uh, important questions and find reliable uh, methods to answer them. Uh, as an uh, experienced uh, scientist, how do you find your questions and how do you find uh, reliable methods to, ask, uh, to answer this question? So, um, first um, the question what we want to ask is often derived from real life situation and as you know we all eat uh, several times a day and if we eat we uh, ingest salt if we want or if we don't want we will and um, the easy question what we ask was um, whether what we eat um, and the salt what we eat which would come at a certain stage to our gut would uh, affect our microbes uh, and this was our uh, main research question. We had a, a study design which um, was relying on animal experiments, cell culture experiment and also a small pilot study in, in humans. Um, animal studies, because animals can be controlled the best, we can offer them a chore uh, which they have to eat, this is different from humans. Uh, and. Um, there we gave them a normal salt uh, diet, switched this normal salt diet to high salt diet and had a recovery phase again on normal salt diet. So it was a very uh, standardized uh, protocol and we collect, uh, could collect stool samples in every phase. Um, we are a cardiovascular uh, experienced lab and we had to team up with experts from the microbiome field. What we did, we had partners from MIT in Cambridge uh, and from EMBL uh, in Heidelberg and um, those were quite instrumental for having uh, these analyses done. So um, what we found in the beginning was that salt did not do uh, much uh, to the animals. Um, but then using these novel techniques, statistical analysis, learning machines and so on, we have identified candidates which are regulated by salt and which might be important uh, for uh, uh, cardiovascular health. So um, what we did is uh, we identified lactobacillus as an interesting salt sensitive candidate and we could produce a probiotics and we could even treat animals uh, which uh, were challenged by high salt and investigated their blood pressure and their immune system. So do you think uh, that targeting a microbiome uh, we can develop some potential novel therapeutic uh, tool and uh, in respect to this, uh, how it can change our clinical practice in future? Um, I'm not sure whether we are currently at that stage, but um, doing more research uh, on our microbes um, and on changes upon disease or changes upon lifestyle, um, we might learn um, what situations are favorable to stay healthy and what uh, conditions might be uh, put us on a risk. Um, so if we have a clearer picture on this we might find strategies how to either change lifestyle or to add some um, compounds like probiotics to uh, get a an, uh, an healthy equilibrium back uh, and this might be something in addition to our current uh, understanding of treatment uh, which might add to uh, our future. 
uh, finally, the most important question to me as a dentist, uh, everybody is talking about uh, gut microbiome and uh, uh, its uh, association with uh, cardiovascular health. Uh, however, uh, links between periodontitis and uh, cardiovascular health uh, has, uh, have been uh, studied much earlier before gut microbiome uh, became fashionable. So what is your opinion uh, about influence of oral microbiome uh, on our um, general health, especially cardiovascular health? Um, it's perhaps too early to make a statement on this, but what I'm convinced of is that um, our oral um, microbiome will affect uh, the inflammatory state within our mouth. Uh, and since you have said um, that um, it is quite obvious that there is an association between the inflammation uh, in the mouth and general cardiovascular risk, uh, we need to learn whether this is just uh, a um, local site of inflammation which is uh, determined by the oral uh, microbiome. And if we would um, alter this oral uh, microbiome immune system homeostasis uh, towards an anti-inflammatory uh, response, whether this would then uh, affect our whole body and decrease our uh, general cardiovascular risk, this is an open, interesting hypothesis which you might answer in the future. <laughs> Hopefully. Thank you very much uh, for your time and uh, for coming uh, to cardiovascular research uh, on life. Thank you. Thank you.